Chartreux cat versus Likoi cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The term Chartreux was originally used for blue cats in the Universal Dictionary of Commerce, Natural History, and the Arts and Trade of Saveria Brugian, which was published in 1723 and also references the cat's involvement with the fur trade. If you go into the history of the Likoi, you'll learn that the breed was created by Brittany and Johnny Gobble, as well as Patty Thomas. After stumbling across several unusual looking litters, they allowed the cats to mate, and the Likoi were born. The name of the breed is derived from the Greek word for wolves. The Chartreux has the sturdy, powerful body of a working cat wrapped in a short, thick, water-repellent coat. Besides his beautiful fur, his most distinctive feature is his deep orange eyes, set in a rounded, broad head. He has full cheeks and a sweet, smiling expression. Medium-sized ears sit high on the head. His body type is sometimes described as primitive, being husky and robust with broad shoulders and a deep chest. His relatively short and fine-boned legs rest on round, medium-sized paws that look almost dainty. A lively, flexible tail is heavy at the base, tapering to an oval tip. Don't let his ample body and solid muscle mass fool you. This is a supple, agile cat who typically weighs 7 to 16 pounds at maturity. Pick him up and you may be surprised by his heft. Chartreux grow slowly and males especially may not reach their full size until they are 4 or 5 years old. The medium short double coat has a slightly woolly texture, which varies depending on the cat's age and gender, as well as the climate in which he lives. For instance, mature males have the heaviest coats, while females or young cats may have a thinner coat or one that feels silky. The coat can be any shade of blue-gray. The tips of the fur look as if they have been lightly brushed with silver. Kittens may have the feigned imprint of tabby markings, called ghost barring, or tail rings, but by the time they mature the coat should have a bright, even tone. Completing the look is slate gray nose leather, blue lips, and rose taupe paw pads. You'll usually see the Likoi sporting a signature black or gray coat. Sometimes a silvery shade of white also appears. The breed's roan coat gives it an endearingly patchy appearance. When it comes to grooming, most Likoi cats are fine with weekly brushing sessions but make sure that you brush in a gentle fashion so that you don't irritate or hurt the cat's skin. Ask your vet for help on techniques if needed. Also, due to the cat's lack of hair, you'll need to give your Likoi regular baths to help keep oils in check. In terms of climate, most Likoi cats are adaptable, although they generally favor warmer temperatures. You should also always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Short playtimes interspersed with naps and meals are his idea of the perfect day. When he is not displaying his superb timing and pouncing ability, killing toys with abandon, or performing acrobatic flips as he chases a lure toy, he is an attentive and gentle companion who likes to stay near his people and observe their doings. He appreciates any attention he receives, especially if it involves scratching him beneath the chin or between the ears, but he's not demanding, content to follow you around devotedly, sleep on your bed and snuggle with you if you're not feeling well. He rarely uses his voice, preferring to direct your actions with a glance from his pumpkin-colored eyes. If need be, however, he may communicate with a small meow or chirp. Make a habit of observing him carefully and being familiar with his actions since it is unlikely that he will vocalize any discomfort or make any sound to let you know where he is. This is an adaptable cat with a middle-of-the-road personality. He's not a social butterfly, but he's not a shy wallflower, either. Expect him to watch and wait before deciding whether to greet a guest or otherwise involve himself in a situation. His calm nature makes him suited to staying home alone while you are out earning the money for his treats and toys, but he won't object to keeping company with another cat or dog. That same good nature makes him a good travel companion for an RV enthusiast or long-distance truck driver. As long as you keep his routine similar each day, he will be a happy camper. The Chartreux has a sunny, polite disposition that makes him a pleasure to live with. This is one cat who does his best to obey the rules. Always treat him kindly and patiently, and you will be rewarded with a friend for life. When you find yourself living with a Likoi, you'll immediately notice just how smart these cats are. As a breed, they're inquisitive, curious and great problem solvers so you'll want to ensure that you have a stash of interactive cat toys available, plus a batch of play items that are rotated regularly. Keeping your Likoi mentally stimulated will help bring out the best in this breed's personality. 
Along with being a super smart kitty and a feline that you can teach to play games of fetch the Likoi is generally an all-around energetic cat who loves to stay active. Make sure you have adequate space and scope for climbing missions if you're considering adopting a Likoi. Fortunately, at the end of a hard day's playing, the Likoi loves nothing more than to cuddle up with the humans in their life and enjoy some well-deserved relaxation time. The Chartreuse Short, Thick Coat is easy to care for with weekly brushing. The coat sheds in the spring and may require extra brushing during that time. A bath is rarely necessary. If your Chartreuse does require a bath, remember that it can take time to get the water-repellent coat wet enough for bathing. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Likoi's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the chartreuse litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a chartreuse and Likoi as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The tolerant and gentle chartreuse fits nicely in a home with children. He is more likely to walk away than to scratch if he doesn't like the way he is being handled. Parents with young children should always supervise interactions to make sure the cat isn't mistreated. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. The Likoi cat and young kids are a top-notch combination. Your kids will love interacting and forming bonds with a cat that resembles a werewolf. Just make sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the good-natured Likoi fares well with many domestic animals. But always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Sometimes these relationships are very much dependent on the individual pet's personalities. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your Likoi for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.